since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, another Monkish beer tonight. Hooray. Whoop, whoop. How many Howard Stern fans are there? <laughs> uh, this was released, so we just reviewed JFK to LAX. On the same day, they released Water Balloon Fighters. 8.4% um, alcohol by volume. Double IPA. Uh, brewed with Citra, Mosaic, and Simcoe. So, um, JFK to LAX was Citra, Motuika, and Simcoe. This one is Mosaic, Citra, and Simcoe. Um, that one was obviously 10.2%, and this one's 84 so kicked way down. Um, big thank you to my man Eddie again for this one. You are the man, bro. Um, Water Balloon Fighters, Hip Hop Heads, there was a song by The Dove Shack in like 19, I want to say it was like 94, 95. It was my, I think it was my freshman year of high school, because my sister was two years older than me and she had her license and she used to drive me to school and we would listen to the song Summertime in the LBC. I don't know if anyone outside of California is really familiar with that song. Um, they were like a one hit wonder kind of a group. Um, but Summertime in the LBC was one of the sickest fucking songs ever. So if you guys have never heard that, just go up to the search bar right here and type in Dove Shack, Summertime in the LBC. Um, the one line is water balloon fighters, low riders, and east siders all come around to hear the Dove Shack G-Funk sound. I think Warren G was like part of that. I don't know if he actually rapped in that group, but he was, it was a whole Snoop Dogg, Warren G, those guys, um, was the Dove Shack. So yeah, uh... Not much else to say. Let's get into this. I don't think I don't know if there's any reviews of this up on YouTube. I don't know if there's a whole lot of monkish reviews, to be honest with you. Uh, proper glassware. Is there anything else to say? I don't think so. Other than I'm, I have a beer boner. Getting ready to drink this. Monkish is, without a doubt, the best hoppy brewery in California. Probably the entire West Coast. Can you guys see that? Hopefully, um, they are just absolutely murdering the New England style, and this looks no different. Uh, finger of bright white head. It looks like pineapple juice as per normal with monkish beers. That head is super um, fluffy and there's already glass lacing. That's crazy just from doing that. Whoop. Glass lacing. It looks incredible. So if this is anywhere near what JFK to LAX was, I'm going to be a happy, happy kid. So let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Damn. The mosaic and citra are just this crazy. It's I said it with um, JFK to LAX. These beers are so aromatic and so fruit forward. It reminds me of drinking Galaxy beers. This beer immediately reminds me of smelling green for the first time. But there's no Galaxy in it. It's crazy. There's just so much overripe pineapple and orange and tangerine and like peaches and mangoes. And it, I know I, it sounds like I'm saying the same things, but these beers, I mean, they're hopped almost the same. There's one hop that's different. So this is smelling very similar to JFK to LAX. It's a fucking bowl of fruit salad. It's crazy. It's a fruit smoothie. It's fresh pressed juice. It's it's the, it's the best fucking thing you've ever smelled. It's crazy. These are just juice bombs. Um, and it's funny, like I mentioned it in other videos, like I got juiced out for a while, like I needed to go back to West Coast beers that were like crazy, dank, earthy, malty. But now that I'm smelling these and drinking these, it's like, fuck, I miss these and I love them so hard. Again, no maltiness, 8.4, zero booze. It's just the softest fruit, like this, so this beer was released the same day as JFK to LAX, which was I think September 2nd, so we're October, same thing, October 4th. I'm drinking these back to back because fuck it, I can do whatever I want, I'm an adult. And that's what we do on this channel, we binge drink and we binge review, that's what uh, Nathan calls it, binge reviewing. Um, so even at a month old, this smells insane. Which goes to show that uh, Brian and I are right, give us your old IPAs, we're team old IPA, it doesn't need to be fresh. All you guys who think you need to drink the shit like the same day, you don't. This right here is proof of it. So I'm ready to drink it. Eddie, thank you sir, cheers. So much blueberry. Dude, Mosaic is fucking amazing. We were talking about our five favorite hops. Mosaic is for sure in my top five. Because the blueberry-ness, is that a word, blueberry-ness? The blueberry-ness, the blueberry-ishness, whatever the word is, is fantastic on Mosaic. If you've never 
tasted blueberry and mosaic hops, really look for it next time you drink it. It's crazy. I always thought that, that mosaic beers tasted sweet and fruity and I couldn't figure out what it was. And once someone said it's blueberries, that's what it is. That's the fun part about beer. Like everyone will smell something different and taste something different. That, that's why I have so much fun like reviewing beers with Ryerson because we'll talk to each other and be like, hey, is this what this smells like and tastes like? And then someone's like, I can't figure out what that is. But once you say that, yeah, that's what that is. It's like when you're, if you, you come home, like everyone's like, it's bullshit what you're smelling in beer. Fuck you, it's not. Because you'll come home from work and if your wife is cooking something amazing, you'll smell it and be like, that smells like something. You don't know what it is, but it smells like something to you. And that's what you know something smells like. So for people to say you don't really smell these things in beers, you guys are full of shit. There's blueberry and mosaic, no doubt. And if anybody wants to argue that, I will argue tongue blue in the face. Tongue blueberry in the face. But again, it's more the same. It's a juice bomb. It's shit ton of blueberries right up front. And then you're hit with just sweet oranges and tangerines from that citra. Simcoe right on the middle, like as it transitions mid palate to the finish, you get dank earthy grassiness it reminds you that it's a west coast beer but it's so soft the bitterness is, i don't know what the ibus on this are but it's not bitter at all it finishes crazy juicy um, but that earthy kind of dank resinous thing just hangs out for a second and then you get all of that like berry orange tangerine tropical fruity citrus thing it, almost like sunny delight um like on the finish and it's gone. It's eight and a half percent. You can't taste alcohol. You'd be absolutely fucking shit hammered drinking like three or four of these because you'd be like, this is a 6% beer. It drinks like a pale ale. Like if you've had lights on from Treehouse, it drinks like that. This drinks like a 6% beer. It's insane. I don't know how these guys are doing this. So, um, I could sit and flate monkish for the rest of the night, but, um, this is one of the better monkish beers I've had. This is one of the best West coast IPAs I've ever had. Um, there is nothing about this beer I would change. You can't taste alcohol. Um, it doesn't have a crazy, lingering, insane finish. It finishes so clean, um, super juicy, but you're getting that earthy, dank, resinous thing from the Simcoe. If you like Citra, if you like Mosaic, you will absolutely love this beer. Over a month old, it's drinking phenomenally. So um, we're going back to back. This one's Hunnitz. This is one of the best monkish beers I've had. This beer is fucking insane. So that is Water Balloon, Fighters, Low Riders, and East Siders. Um, if you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Monkish is, it's insane. They are absolutely slaying right now and they've made my Tuesday evening fantastic. So I'm out of here guys. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't.